From the outside looking in, minimalism can be hard to grasp. In our colourful comment section, we've been called hipsters, pretentious, some called us poor, while some others got the impression that we must be rich and privileged. It's easy to misunderstand this lifestyle. Is it some kind of twisted competition to see who can survive with the fewest things in their possession? Why would anyone want to have fewer things in a world where we are supposed to want more? Why would anyone want to live in a soulless home with empty rooms and white walls? What's even the point of minimalism? Once upon a time, we found ourselves with an important decision to make in our life. Should we fool ourselves and chase after a lifestyle that, according to conventional wisdom, was supposed to make us happy? Or do we patiently pursue what we believe would truly make us happy, but at the expense of financial stability? We chose the latter, and unknowingly, we started to have less and less things, which then evolved into empty rooms and undecorated white walls. But it wasn't as if we chose to reduce, expecting it to magically bring us happiness. Instead, it was more of the reverse. We simply poured our focus and attention on the things that actually made us happy. Simplifying our lives was just a natural and necessary byproduct of that. That may be where a lot of the misunderstanding and cynicism surrounding minimalism stem from. A simple life is often pushed as a cure to all our unhappiness, but that's not necessarily true. Minimalism is just a process. A process for us to learn to be intentional and honest with ourselves. From something as simple as decluttering. Am I going to wear this piece of clothing again even though I have not put it on in years? To something a little deeper. Do I really care about luxury cars? Or do I actually care more about what people would think if I didn't own a luxury car? There are no universal right or wrong answers to these questions. To be minimalist simply means learning to have the awareness to ask ourselves these questions and then striving to answer them honestly. And it's through this process of intentionality and self-honesty that we can hopefully find a more meaningful and fulfilling life. All the time, we see faceless accounts on social media comparing or gatekeeping, which is unnecessary and excessive. Two words that are clearly contradictory to the idea of minimalism. Minimalism, like most things, can become counterproductive when taken too far. It's not an exclusive club or a badge of superiority, so there's no need to be attached to the label. Anyone can practice and benefit from a simpler life. It doesn't matter if you're a person who loves things, or if you're an artist, a collector, or even if you prefer to call yourself a maximalist. All of us would do well to be a bit more intentional and honest with ourselves. And at the end of the day, that's all minimalism is about. One thing that we should not be minimal with is knowledge. This episode's sponsor is Wondrium. Wondrium is an entertaining and educational video subscription service that will fill you with knowledge and curiosity. We love learning, we love watching documentaries, and often find ourselves fascinated with the most random of topics. Wondrium has a carefully curated collection of video series, causes, and of course, documentaries, all presented by the most respected experts and non-fiction storytellers. Just before the making of this video, we were watching a documentary about the history of our planet Earth. It's fascinating to see, with the help of CGI, how the planet came to be as a result of a remarkable convergence of chemistry, energy and chance. If you're the type to wonder about things, then you have a wonderful time at Wondrium. They are giving viewers a free trial right now, so check them out and support our channel by using the link in our description to let them know that we sent you there. Thanks for watching. What do you think? Do you agree with our interpretation of minimalism? Let us know in the comments. We'll see you again in our next video.